And welcome back to another week, guys. I'm Gaston Rosato. This is season six, episode two. I'm already excited. I can't wait to start sharing about this car. Oh yeah, I'm super excited about this one. I'm Renzo Rosato. Today we're looking at the 1991 250 GD Mercedes-Benz, the G-Wagon, but of course, not just any G-Wagon. Not just any. That's always our go-to phrase in this <laughs> channel. This is a nut and bolt restoration, resto mod, and not so resto mod at the same time, Finishing what they call the sky blue. I like to call it Miami blue. That's what Porsche calls it. We're in Miami. Right. I think it's appropriate. I think this is the ultimate beach cruiser. Let's get it on the road. But before we do, hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's take it off. exception to that when you step inside and you look around you with the quality of everything is I love the finish impressive I love little things like the steering wheel upholstery yes. with the stitching that matches the interior of the car yeah. it's consistent throughout in the head vi and the uh, sun visors the shift lever the transfer case lever they all you know even the handle the yeah, front handle here and we'll take a little closer look at that when we do the walk around. I love the visibility that I have. I'm sitting down here. I'm, I feel very comfortable in my seating position. And I feel like I can see everything around me. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing. The sitting position for me in this car is very, very comfortable. I like the way I fit. I like the way the steering wheel. It's a very big steering wheel. It is the original steering wheel too. All right, so we have the G-Wagon in her environment, right? <laughs> so <Sort of>. what? <laughs> so let's talk about this build, Gaston, because this, this is not just, like we said, not your, just your typical restoration G-Wagon. This is built and hand-built by Expedition Motor Company. So for you, those who don't know, Expedition Motor Company focuses on 1990 to 1993 convertible G-Wagons, all ex-military G-Wagons. Um, and you would never know by taking a look at this car. No, you would not. Um, it does have an off-road element to it in the way that they're restored. You know, it sits a little higher, beefier tires. Yes. Um, and by the way, this company is located in New York. Oh, we're really? out of New York. Okay. Okay. And we're going to provide their link down below if you want to get more information and get more detailed information about their restoration process throughout the entire component of the truck so chassis transfer case engine transmission right suspension interior and this so is a so complete forth. frame off restoration it starts from the frame absolutely yeah. and, and they do a lot of research and finding these cars mainly they, they go to germany for them um and they fully take it apart they they take a look at the car before taking it apart what it has what it needs um, and yeah, you want a good candidate to begin with. And it, it's really cool because you can go up to them and, and they can find the truck for you and you can completely customize it how you want it. So it can be a beach cruiser, it can be a hunting badass, um, or it could just be your, a little daily driver that you want. I like how they refer to it. Rugged luxury. Exactly. And, and, it, and they really pulled off a beautiful balance between the two. Yeah. And, and you see it, again, throughout the entire car. And let's begin some of that walk around process. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love the, the covered uh, blinkers. Yeah, so you have the indicator covers on there. And the indicators can be clear or amber. So those are options that you have. With or without the cover. So with or without the covers, we could go on with the grill, which is matching the color of the car, that sky blue. That really makes it look just a lot. It, it, it brings it up so many years, right? Exactly. It looks like a much more modern G-Wagon. Upgraded headlights, of course. Yeah, so they, they, they stuck with the the om 
uh, bumpers on this build, but you yeah. can go online and you can build yeah, with different winch. options, yeah. even a winch and whatnot. Yeah. I love the choice of the wheel. Yes. Okay. These are very common off-road type wheels. You can see them on, on Jeeps many, many years. It's kind of timeless. The centerpiece says Mercedes, but I love how it's an understated wheel because many times in these resto mods, you really want to impress, you want to put the best of the best. You put a wheel there that's much more modern than the car, and, and it, all of a sudden- It kind of throws off the balance. Yeah, it throw, there's like a discrepancy there in beauty. Yeah. This is understated. It says, don't look at me down here. I'm all up here. <laughs> and I like how they did that. And up here, we do have the snorkel option with it. The snorkel option. So this is off. an option with yeah. them as well. We understand this is a real off, road vehicle like you said military vehicle this can this is capable of a lot of different things so uh you know gorgeous i like how they kept the 250 gd badge the original badging on the door here yeah black canvas top again you can pick different colors for that and different tiles top we're well. not going to bring it down today but the car looks absolutely phenomenal without it yeah. you can even fold down the windshield like a traditional jeep let's open up the the hood here and let's talk a little bit about the engine and let's, let's come take a look at what this is all about it's very impressive the first time i opened this hood it really it really caught my eye the level of detail so first of all you have a matching colored shovel and you here. never know when you need a shovel guys <laughs> and and the heads of the engine are also in that sky blue color the valve cover the yeah. valve cover so I mean, if you take a look in here, everything is brand new. These are all rebuilt engine, rebuilt trannies. Yes. The components, you can see they're, they're new. Um, such a clean, clean finish to yeah. all of this. And Expedition Motor Company goes through their, before they take it apart, they go through the engine. And after they put it together, they make sure that when they deliver it, it's not going to have any issues. It goes through a road test. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, it's part of the quality control that's included with all this. You have a nice little plaque in here. It says hand built by Expedition Mortar Company. Um, and it's, it's throughout the car, right? You see it in the back where the back gas uh, tank is and you see it in the center where the, uh, the shifter is. Yeah, they remind you. They remind you this is a handcrafted vehicle. So what do we have here? This is a factory OM602 engine. It's a five cylinder diesel, 2.5 liter. Yeah. Yes, it's not very fast but it is very reliable. That's for sure. And it'll get the job done. Yeah. If you're taking this thing on the sand, if you're taking it out for a rock climb, this is an incredible amount of torque. Uh, it's, it's basically a tractor on wheels in that sense. Yeah. So fear not. Let's take a step inside. Let's talk about some of the features inside the vehicle. As I mentioned before, it's something that you really have to go step by step to truly appreciate the whole thing. First thing you're gonna notice when you walk in here, you have this, this look of a very high-end interior finish with a two-tone and a different color stitching. And again, consistent throughout the entire interior. There's a couple of cool things that I like that were included into the car. You have, of course, an upgraded radio with Bluetooth capabilities. You know, it's part of connecting us with you know the vintage world and new amenities right same is true with the air conditioning provided by vintage air uh, there's nothing like closing the windows turning on the ac and enjoying your power steering it makes for a much different drive and certainly necessary great led lighting down here you got a light bar this light right here also great feature it's the kind of you tools that you need when you're out there doing things. Fire extinguisher under the seat of the passenger. And one of my more favorite features, we'll take a look through the back. Check out the finish of the floorboard. Let's get a clean shot of that because that's amazing. That is beautiful. Gorgeous touch. We're going to keep it with this while the car is for sale, of course, to protect the wood. but. It's something that you don't expect to see, and it just gives it a high quality look. So while we're back here, let's take a look at some of the features here, right? First of all, the tire. We have uh, BF Goodrich Baja Champion tires. Yeah, I and think it's a perfect tire. Not too big, you can still use it on the road. Exactly. Not noisy. It just works. All terrain, it says it right there. Exactly. Absolutely. The fuel canister, 
which I love because it has that Mercedes-Benz badge on it. Yes, it does. And I love the upgraded taillights yeah. of a newer G-Wagon. And your oh. diesel tank here. Yeah. It's got a hitch where you can connect your ball and your power source for the trailer. The car is really equipped for everything. Yeah. And I also love that you can use it with the family. It has two back independent buckets with seat belts. A lot of times, you know, in the past we've sold a lot of these vintage Jeeps. Either you don't get the back seats or you get the back seats with no seat belts, which yeah. is always a concern. So yeah. this car is very nice in that sense that you can enjoy it with friends and family. All right, so I think it's my turn to get behind the steering wheel of this thing and we head back to the barn. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week. We hope and, it, and we always try our best to, you know, reflect details, emotion, to, to capture what it is that we're experiencing. I know it's very difficult to do via camera. So if you want to see more things included into our episodes or if there's something that we should have included in this episode, please remind us. Put that in the comments and we'll certainly consider it for the next one. Yeah, your feedback is really appreciated, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We just reached 10,000 subscribers. We're excited for that. It's been a long journey. Yes. Organic reach. Uh, and I think we got a lot, lot more to do. So yeah. stick around for weekly videos every Tuesday uploads, guys. I'm Gaston Rosato. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I hope you enjoyed this masterpiece as much as we did. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Baby, it's